2009, I was, I was a student at Helsinki School of Economics, and the, there was no entrepreneurship and no startups present anywhere. Uh, founders were considered almost as criminals, and uh, I think only the weakest students went to study entrepreneurship or started their own company if they couldn't go to McKinsey or investment banks in London. I've talked to a number of older entrepreneurs in Finland and like they said that like when they first started people were you know if they if they told their friends and family like hey I'm, I'm creating this new company people would say to them like what you couldn't get a job at Nokia like that was the the whole thing here but today like it's become trendy in a good way I think to be an entrepreneur like it's it's finally cool and exciting to start taking risks and start building something for yourself what people see is that we actually, even though Finland is a young country, uh, in the dark, slushy uh, north, we actually have, a, with technology, we have a great history. Uh, when, it, For example, it comes to gaming scene, it wasn't like uh, that Nokia went down and gaming scene went up. Uh, it was that uh, many, many uh, gaming entrepreneur, uh, or entrepreneurs in gaming had been founding their first companies in the end of the 90s, learned a lot from the dot-com bubble, and uh, have been doing uh, things since. The Finnish mentality is very independent, you know, so you think independently, you can be creative and innovative, and uh, that's a cool thing. So uh, I think that's the most important thing in Finland. So you, you really uh, have a support for thinking individually, and you can uh, create innovations, and the school system supports uh, uh, to do that, so it's uh, not so strict, uh, it's a good system, but not so strict, so it doesn't destroy your innovativeness. The Baltic countries have a lot of technical talents, but and the trend has been something like Skype, where the Skype founders came from Sweden and Denmark and set up their development team in the Baltics. And uh, so that's been the trend that uh, people have been thinking about with the Baltics recently. But instead, like we're starting to see a lot of new companies on the business side, like developing like innovative new ideas. We realize that okay, these guys are really they're interested to build startups, but it doesn't really help that they chat with each other and there is not really understanding and knowledge. So we started to build startup sauna as, as a seed accelerator program. We we talked, we went to Silicon Valley to talk to. Paul Graham at Y Combinator and, and saw a lot uh, and, and learned a lot and, and started to build very much local version of Y Combinator. Uh, I think the key 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 takeaways for, for, for us and key learnings were that we, we started to gather startups from especially from Russia and, and the Eastern Europe uh, to come to Finland and we gathered all the best entrepreneurs uh, as a mentors, but only the ones that had actually built companies themselves had suffered all the great pain and enjoyed all the great rides, but understood the founders and being there at their early stage. I was just started to, to bring these twice a year for, for a month or two to, 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 to build companies, to build products and to help each other. society is quite interesting for me because that's the reason why I'm in Finland. When I came here for the first time I, I met them when they were just playing with the idea and they started to build something it was almost not existent but when I saw their progress and I heard what they are building and what they are trying to achieve I, I, I came back to, to see how it's going and I stayed here. I think over the years in, in a very brief amount of time, Helsinki has really started to boom. We have the success stories, not only in the gaming industry, but, but many more that are proving as idols for the, for the startup community. And I think the high education level is one strength that we have, and a very good, vibrant ecosystem. And the entrepreneurs' culture to really help each other out. And that is something you would also see in Silicon Valley, but in a Europe context, I think Helsinki is very much booming and is a hub for cool startups at the moment. 
So the students have created this necessary hub. And the one interesting thing about Alto is it was the students who started it. It wasn't a faculty-driven initiative. And now the faculty and the institution is trying to catch up, which is an amazing thing. The main point of, of the Slush Conference is to gather uh, the mass here and, and make it so interesting that anybody all over the world can think of, it, think of it as a valuable time to come to Helsinki. Now we have all the startups from our region packed in one, one building and, and that way even the investors from Silicon Valley that might, for example, not come even to Europe find it interesting enough to, to fly over for a couple of days. I've been paying attention to startups in Europe since I moved here four years ago, and it's insane how much like the how much it's grown in the last couple of years. Like when I first came here, it was very disorganized and kind of no one knew really what was going on. And then um, through Arctic Startup and through Alto Entrepreneurship Society and events like Slush, we're seeing a lot more um, innovation and um, companies coming out of nowhere. It's a, it's a really exciting time to be paying attention to entrepreneurship in Northern Europe. Finland is known for its educational system, and not only does this create a great talent of people in Helsinki and the rest of Finland, it also draws in talent from around the world because there's such a great talent base here. There's so many new startups and so much new technology. So Helsinki and the rest of Finland is a fantastic place to create a new business with some of the most talented people in the world.